as you can see over here in the aft cabin on the port side there's been a lot of leakage a lot of junk and uh, that's all got to be addressed uh, first I have to find the leaks and uh, well it's in fact it's leaking pretty much everywhere it's not just at those uh, port lights it's also at uh, the other lights you see on the side of the hull and on the top side um, so it gives a beautiful lighting but uh, yeah it's uh, a less pleasurable fact is that it's prone to leaks very heavily so that all has to be addressed too as you can see all the headliner is gone and um, uh, probably the previous owner has done a lot of uh, effort uh, given it a lot of effort already to uh, to do some things but uh, yeah the the overall state is pretty poor um, this has to be a cheap boat or it's not gonna happen considering the amount of work leakage woodwork um, motoring uh, the motor the, the engine is completely prone to overhauling and uh, all the electro systems the electrical system the all the hoses all the connections everything has to go well in the saloon you can uh, pretty much see that uh, there has been taken some effort to, to get the countertop on the on the sink in the kitchen part uh, in the galley to get it better but uh, well didn't work out we moved the uh, one of the settees and um, there's a space inside uh, and there are all kinds of tools and sprays and paint buckets and but it was full 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 with water and um, through a leakage through one of the hatches on the top side of the boat um, uh, all the water get got into the in the settee and drained the wood so you can see the black mold on the flooring um, we were trying to get a look at uh, what's beneath the cabin sole so it's pretty much uh, a hard job with that heavy heavy settee there but uh, yeah there's supposed to be two two um, water tanks and uh, they're all covered in uh, water with some white stuff on it uh, we don't exactly know what the white stuff is could be some kind of mold um, but uh, yeah that's the state uh, we found her in so this has got to be addressed so we were wondering what's the water coming from and what it could be coming from um, uh, a few parts of the boat the leaking windows um, but also the hatch of the engine compartment which did not close where there's no sealant edging kind of thing um, uh, plus on the back side of the boat there's an opening which is not sealed so this is uh, this is the current state we found her in it looks like someone uh, really made an effort to paint the bottom here we are uh, placing the, the flooring back so yeah it was a bit of a struggle but we managed to get the flooring in um, more in the front of the boat you can see headliner laying around all moldy uh, bunk bed on the starboard side everything was moldy because it was leaking everywhere on the deck side uh, there were holes everywhere Here you see the mast foot the foot of the mast it's not even mounted and there's no coverage for the holes in the deck so everything has been dripping full of water over the years the hatches all are uh, kind of leaky 
uh, there's a ventilation area on one of the hatches or two of the hatches that did not have the insert so rain was also pouring in the main hatch was uh, non-existent it was laying in two pieces on the inside of the boat uh, there was uh, some wooden uh, wooden sheet covering the main entrance but it has been raining in for years so hence the amount of water we found under the flooring yeah this is uh, pretty self-explanatory so no comments here The boat has been painted on the deck. I even have uh, photos of that, kind of documented. And uh, yeah, on the non-skid, at some part it's become flaky, so that has to be done again. The tow rail is removed and the holes are sort of sealed. The chain locker, yeah, as is. There is a windlass, but it's uh, not in one piece. I've got some kind of surface kit with it, brand new, but uh, yeah, if I'll get it back to running again, we'll have to see. We were definitely in awe with the dimensions of the boat. Uh, I've never been in boats uh, wider than three meters, so the four and a half meter width, yeah, that's uh, pretty impressive in our eyes. And uh, the overall length is also pretty big, but you get used to it quite quickly. As you can see, I'm not yet used to using the GoPro, uh, so I apologize for the shaky footage. But uh, yes, yeah, my first attempt and got to start somewhere. Even my good friend Chris is impressed by the overall looks, not particularly by the state of the boat, but yeah, the dimensions and the possibilities. We want to have a look inside the cockpit locker on the port side. So we set aside the sled of wood which was covering the companionway. And as expected, it is full of junk. Well, junk stuff. So we'll see about that later. So the previous owner has made a solar arch, or had it been made. Um, well, my friend Chris is going to try the overall strength of it and do some exercises as well while he's at it. Yep, looking good. Near the companion where you can see some plastic bags inserted in the ventilation holes or something. And on the aft some kind of locker on a swimming platform and some blemishes on the polyester gel coat which has to be addressed. Here you can have another look at the plastic bags. That's a part, uh, part of the paint which has come loose. And there was some more water to discover uh, right here uh, nearby the battery. 
This part of the boat is behind the companionway stairs and it's a combined head and shower. Um, it's not the ideal location for me because it's pretty low and nearby the engine bay and water and engine, I don't know, doesn't seem like a right combination. My friend Chris nevertheless finds the right place to do his business. Yeah, the steering is kind of wobbly. Uh, the floor beneath it is uh, the core, I believe, is rotten. So that has to be changed. So let's have a look at the engine bay where the mighty Perkins M50 Prima is sort of dying. Yeah, never mind the window. So they took off the uh, cylinder head and brought it in for service and uh, left the rest of it uh, to slowly die here. It's pretty rusty. The cylinders won't move, so that has to be addressed as well. There also seem to be a lot of parts missing, uh, laying in the boat somewhere, but not all. And a lot of water here, and the engine bay itself could use a little TLC as well. So if we turn around and have a look at the other side of the engine bay, you can see there's a lot of room. There's some engine parts laying around. And here you can see the attachment of the steering column and the steering wire. As you can see, the multiplex is pretty swollen, so that's completely wet and rotted. Yeah, excuse me again for the shaky footage. I believe this is the heat exchanger. Yeah, it's laying on one side. Okay, back up again. Is there any more to explore? Yeah, the mast. Well, the mast seems to be in, in an okay condition. There's not much I can say about it right now. The most parts seem to be available. As well as the boom. There's uh, four spreaders in total, two on each side, and there is a furler. So this was the tour of our visit to the boat. Um, in the next video we'll let you know if we came to a deal with the seller. See you then.